Okay, morning everybody. Morning Chris, April, Elaine, Country, Mary, Kelly and Geoffrey. Thank you for the shout out, that was really good. Um, so today's song is a very old one. It's I Can't Make You Love Me. Uh, not sure which one that one is, I don't think it's Dagger's, not sure. Because it's different in this room set than others. Um, but we'll see. Today's card is the Mother card, Mother Earth. We've got um, the Moon, third house of um, Gemini, Communications and Libra. So Justice um Legal matters, etc. Seventh house of partnerships. Um, hoping for a good result today, but I can't see it happening because I was most disappointed that the candidate there was not a candidate for the party I wanted to vote for. I think that's the only reason that they um, don't achieve better numbers. So that's my voting done yesterday. We'll see what carnage that brings us. But it's only one battle. It's not the war. So let's see. I was never political before Spirit got me involved. And now I'm um, fighting like everybody else for what's right. Don't care about the political parties because none of them are any good. Oh, as I can see. Peace, love and freedom. That's what spirit preach and that's what I look for. So without that, we have nothing. Um, free to be. Uh, what colour, what politics, what nationality. If you're a pain in the backside, you're a pain in the backside. Simple as. So let's see. What do they want us to know today, Spirit? Come back off the skull run again. Thought I was going to get a week off next week before my holiday, but I'm not. It's just a day because it's bank holiday on Monday. And I'm going to see mum again because mum's not very well. So those of you that watch, no, mum's got dementia. She's, I think she's 90, 93 this year. 1931 she was born. So let's have a look. She's done well, that's the last. So there she is in the fourth pile. Mothers, mother in laws, mothers of our children. Growing as a person, as a soul. Happiness, nurturing, Mother Earth, Taurus energy, truth, the poppy, the military, the 31st, November the 11th, the name poppy. It's Demeter, it's the mother energy. Depending on which deck it is, it is pregnancy. Um, so mothers, if you've got a mother in spirit, this may be a message from her to you, because today's card is neutral, but it's Mother Earth. Agriculture. Growing.
so they're asking us to be patient again <laughs> you know what that's like um or are they because i think maybe i've got that in the no i was wrong it's the wrong pile they're not asking us to be patient there's an injustice oh how did you know that was going to happen so that's the Libra energy, seventh house, what we was talking about, the call on the prostate, um, partnerships, relationships. It's sitting on the fence, an injustice has taken place, the number 11. Um, so I can't remember who lives at number 11, Downing Street, but none of them are worth talking about. Um, so it's injustice taking place because people are sitting on the fence. Um, there are open enemies. They don't care if you know now. Um, so we have to take the path we don't want to take. The path less travelled, the one that's going to be more difficult. We're at a crossroads. We can't sit on the fence anymore. There is, um, for some, a failed pregnancy. For others, an outright no. There'll be no happiness for at least nine months Um if we keep refusing to um, create something new. So for some reason, he's got his cocky head back on. Yesterday, he was um, my way or the highway. This, though, is good for us because it means that we're going to present ourselves well to the world. Probably a haircut, a makeover, a new outfit. His bosses, government officials, father figures, they're all going to be nice to us because... They know that in November, they've got the comeuppance. Um, it's your divine masculine. So far, the sky, Odin. But this is a beneficial one. This is a good one. Kings, politicians, bosses, father figures. Father sky. But there's Persephone again. She's been with us all week. We've let the negativity in again. We're letting them, we're allowing them to put negativity into our field. So go back to the little video and put your protection up. Um, because there are energy vampires all around if you're an empire, empath. You have to um, possibly keep your mouth shut. Don't tell anybody what you're thinking. Um, it's keeping secrets. It's being trapped in the marriage from hell the job from hell um allowing people to put things into your body that's negative diet medication and negative speak coming out of your mouth as in words written or spoken on no words you're not saying anything you're silent um so that's not good if you sat on the fence and you're being silent that's not going to work but it's how you present yourself to others so the tarot reader, the psychic, the medium, 11th of October, where I come from. So the number 11 is important. Got it more than once. Um, the carnival people, the travellers, the Romanies. Um, you need to make the right choice for you. Adam, Eve, Lily. Um, those born in the year of the snake. The apple, so Gemini, Cancer, Cuspers. Um, it's about choice. The right choice. So that your enemies are overcome. Because this was the choice before it was ever the lovers. But this is binding agreements. Um, children, school days, uh, communications. And that is Mercury energy as well, communications. And we've got the third house and the dice. So communications coming your way, enemies are overcome. Um, even if that enemy is yourself. So Gemini's in there a lot. And there's today's card. It is neutral, but because it's upright, we know that we are growing as people, as souls, and that we um, will find happiness at the end of this. So the most important thing is to avoid the 11, be it somebody's door number, birthday, whatever. The Libras, because the people pleasers, to sit on the fence, to make, they see things from both sides, so they don't um, ever take a side. And then... We've got the fathers, 4 and 31 is brilliant, 6 and 24 is brilliant. But the 2 and 29, I'm afraid, is suffering, being sacrificed for other people's gain. So, sipping from the devil's cup. 
Persephone didn't. She refused until she thought she was going home to her mother. And her mother had to go to the to Father Sky to ask for her to be released. Um, but unfortunately, when she thought she was being released, she come off a hunger strike and ate some pomegranate seeds. And for each one she ate, she had to stay three months in hell. So it could be three months, which would leave us nine months, which is there. But that's also negative. So we have to keep putting the effort in. We have to keep communicating across the World Wide Web. Spread the word. Uh, find your tribe. Someone with a tattoo for a mother, maybe, or the father could be important. Um, Aries, a Capricorn, I mentioned again. Positive energy, eight years. There it is. Richard Dick Whittington. Someone with the keys to London. Um, Puss in boots, but he's got a dog this time. So those born in the year of the dog could be important. Do not fear the future. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Um, a new Lord Mayor. Risk feeling the fool. Do what's right. Yeah, because we're running out of options. Um, or we've got to narrow down our options. We can't live in a dream world anymore. Seven months. Yeah, financial ruin because of the those that demand what they want. Um, this is the Violet Elizabeth card, so Violet's. She's got roses there and lilies, and we've got lily already. So, but uh, Violet's, uh, the flowers and the name, Elizabeth, uh, Dennis, Dennis Waterman, Bonnie Langford. Bonnie uh, was in it yesterday, wasn't she? Um, the redhead. Um, she'll scream and scream and scream until she's sick if she doesn't get what she wants. Too many spirit, sorry. Yeah, Scorpio energy. So transformation needs to take place. Um, a death and a rebirth. Coming out of your comfort zone, which is what they said yesterday. Don't hide your bushel. Your light under a bushel, sorry. Because otherwise there is a rejection, a failure of this gift that was given to you by spirit. The chance to make a new beginning. Spirit, heartbreak, um, the three norms are not happy, May the first, there was no reunion, there was no celebration yesterday, um, somebody couldn't, can't attend something, and again, lack of communication, so it depends which side of this uh, fence you're sitting on, um, those in uniform are negative energy, those of darker complexion, uh, the immature, Earth's energy is not growing. There's no um, financial gain. The check's not in the post. Um, child maintenance maybe not arriving because Persephone's still in that marriage to the devil. She's shackled. There she is. She needs to come away from that. Do not sip with the devil. Uh, you're being used. You're being manipulated. Um it's toxic. So something toxic may be going into your body. Uh, diet, medication, like I said, or other forms of medical treatment. Um, it's ambition. It's greed. It's keeping up with the Joneses. Fate is going to have to make the change if you don't. And number 10. Number 10 down the street, maybe. Um, don't play with Ouija boards. Don't mess with the unknown that you don't know anything about. Um, the Wheel of Fortune will turn in our favour. Possibly October. We keep saying about October. Um, so, the 10th month is October. Uh, 10th house is Capricorn. So, both covered. So, 15 is negative. Stay away from the 15. Don't sign anything. Don't bind yourself by a contract or vow that's made under duress. Yeah, it's time to take action. It's time to put your money where your mouth is. Do what you say you're going to do. Aries energy again. Ah, the sky. Aries cusper. Early Aries is Pisces. Late Aries is Taurus. Stand your ground. Defend yourself. You have the higher moral 
Bram. Yeah, it's become too much of a heavy bed and it's time to let it go. It's not your bed and to carry in the first place. There will be battles and we will lose at least half this burden if we stand up for ourselves. Um, somebody mortally wounded, so there will be casualties. But we cannot sit about apathetically not doing anything about it, hoping that it'll all go away because it won't. We have to get up and fight for months. Because Cinderella can't go to the ball until we do. She is constantly working for nothing. Uh, for the ugly sisters, or in this case the ugly brothers, or people that take advantage of her. She is a slave. No gain, no communication, uh, possible problems with the internet. Uh, people are going to be found out for what they've been doing behind our backs in the dark. It's the Thursday night card. It's um, lies, deceit and theft. Yeah. Heartache, sorrow, loss and separation. We need to heal from that. Minor surgery, perhaps. Um, something, definitely, coming between you and what you want, because we've got two threes. Um, so it could be a third party for some. But there is much mind games, lies, psycho um, warfare, it's all lies, um, hidden things, mind games. So let's see if we can get some good news out of this one. Like I said, this is a, it's a different room deck. I might have to get the other one out because it's a different sign on this. Let's see. In the old way. It's NG again, so England again. We're at the, the bottom of it, aren't we? Frey, Ing, God of Fertility, which is today's card. Mother Earth, Fertility. So we are growing something and we have to nurture it. Um, Ingus, Health and Fertility, it's all about that. So, um, the letters N, G in any word. Although Ing Frey was a horse god, so there's born in the year of the horse, the main symbolic association with this room deals with another totem beast, the boar, the pig. There's was born in the year of the pig. Um, and it is Venus, Taurus, which is exactly what this, today's card is. Very well done, spirit. Um... The cuckoo in the nest, so some unwanted person. The laurels, the apple tree, so the apple tree. Uh, the laurels is the victory wreath. The apple tree is Gemini Cancer Cusper that's already been mentioned in the Garden of Eden. The herb rosemary, so the name rosemary, um, self-healing. And it's correspondent in the vegetable kingdom. The shape of the rune suggests a doorway. So that doesn't look very much like a doorway in this one there. Um which is what we've rejected, an escape route. Um, and many room masters consider Ingus to be the portal to the astral plane, which is what Persephone is stood at. In Germanic languages, names ending in the ing sound denote son of, so sons, and we have got a younger energy there, aren't we, that's not communicating. Um, the heir to the throne, so William, again, and we've got William mentioned with Bonnie, haven't we? Demanding. Um, the Norse god of the earth of fertility, the primary deity associated with the rune Ingus, is also identified, though tenuously, as the god of the horses, Ing or Frey. However, Frey did not actually ride a horse. He preferred the steed of a wild boar named Gullin Bursty or Golden Bristles. The bristles on the boar's back symbolise the fields of wheat and corn, so the harvest time. 
which is August, September. Um, being one of the same, there is an element of doubt regarding the identification. The ing sound often denotes son of. Ing Frey may not have been Frey himself, but rather his unnamed son. So a child that does not have a name. He also appears to have been a semi-historical person. So an illegitimate child, perhaps. In words of the rune poem amongst the East End, the first seen by men, Ingus is particularly concerned with health, fertility and well-being. It often denotes fertility of the mind or the motivation and energy that, need to, that is needed to start a new project. There we are, there's the motivation and the energy, um, which is what Aries is all about. So the impetus to get things done, to start a new project. A new job is often indicated when this rune is drawn, but even if this does not occur, the potential remains for considerable change for the better. Of course, for the new phase in life to begin, we have to end the old one, which is death and rebirth. Uh, turn away from a situation that's leading nowhere, that's toxic. So we've got the Capricorn energy there. Uh, don't worry that nothing will come to replace it. New and more productive opportunities will arrive. Ingus is also a rune of problem solving. So if a complex matter has taken up your time and attention, its solution is not far away. Ignoring the problem for a while might help because you may so it may be solved in its intricacies that you cannot see the bigger picture. When you return with fresh insight, the solution will be obvious. It might also be a time that you took a holiday, which they keep saying, don't they, and I need it, I do need it. Ingus often denotes that you should put your house in order, clear away your rubbish and focus your attention on the harmony of your surroundings. So declutter. Um, the implications of the rune go further. Perhaps a certain people are sapping your confidence. Yes, that's why Persephone is retreating into her quiet, um, non-speaking place. Um Taking advantage of your goodwill, you are being used. If so, these folks should no longer play a role in your life and you will need courage and foresight and wisdom to detect who and what you need around you and what is redundant. Ingers may also have a bearing on inheritance, both the passing on of material goods, the generations and continuance of traditions and traits of your forebears. So ancestors, traditional values, So, we have the third house. It's about communication. Um, it's Gemini. It's hands, arms, shoulders. It's school days. It's the colour yellow. We've got, got yellow all over this. Um, communication, siblings, short journeys, twins, learning, immediate environment, neighbours and your manner of speech. How you present yourself to others. If you've got nothing nice to say, say nothing at all. The moon is in Libra, so the shadow side. Emotionally dependent, peaceable, courteous, diplomatic, emotional, but dishonest and critical. The moon in Libra likes confrontation and is a dislikes confrontation, sorry, and is a people pleaser. Needs someone to take the reins. Yes, so injustice is taking place because of the people pleasing. There we have it. Escape. Take the path less travelled. We're at that crossroads. We need to get out. 36 takes us to 9. Um, 9 is again September or Sagittarius. Um, oh, hang on now. 12th house. So that's victims and martyrs. So we've got the 9 house and the 12th house mentioned. So this is the hanged man. Hanging about in limbo, sacrificing yourself for ungrateful people. It's not doing any good, is it? Um, you've got to put your boundaries in place and learn to say no, I'm afraid. So, the lunatic and the lover and the poet are the imagination all compact. William Shakespeare, a midsummer's night dream. 21st of June, I've mentioned it many, many times. It is time to get on point. 
It is not a time to ignore or overlook what's there. Things are getting fragmented. The twelfth house is the most mesmerising of all houses. Mysticism, dreaming, drowning in vast seas. So the mysticism is the high priestess. There's the dreams, living in a dream world. Um, surrendering. The house of self-undoing, being your own worst enemy. What did I say? Do not surrender. The house of self-undoing is also a place in the chart where we lapse in our judgment. So injustice takes place. Uh, and make bad choices. Like the Pisces, that it rules it, the 12th house falls at the end of the zodiac. It indicates a type of passage or rebirth. So death and rebirth, which is the Scorpio energy. If it's gone. Um, this house contains the meaning of all the signs and planets and all the other houses within it. The 12th house stands for the all, the collective. Even though astrologers refer to the 12th house as the gutter or the garbage dump of the zodiac, it is still distinct in its meaning. Evolved souls that are doomed to live there, which is doomed to live in hell. Um, Within the 12th house are the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. Ruled by Neptune, Neptune in Pisces is with us till 2026. The planet of confusion, of drunkenness, of prisoners, of shuttings, of saints, of artists, of mystics. They all call this home. Imagination, linking up and connecting to the unknown, are all facets of the 12th house. It is where the material and non-physical worlds connect. It is both the beginning and the end. The 12th house offers bliss spiritual fulfilment and the meeting up with twin flames there's the lovers um, losing yourself in some beautiful other but it might be like trying to hold on to a cloud this house of poetry and oceans is an enchantment it is where we lie to ourselves as well this house also represents water toxins poisons there you go so boil your water before you drink it um Perfumes, candles, hidden chambers, secret desires, Christ consciousness and martyrdom. The 12th house tells us to forget about ourselves and live for others, but this may bring confusion and also peril. It is fear and paranoia. It is beauty and love. It teaches us to write poetry and to understand the messages from the heavenly spheres. The 12th house inspires us to show great kindness. And the 12th house card comes up in a reading, something is amiss. There is something about the situation that you are unaware of or unsure about, or at least not privy to. There are secrets. All is not as it seems. And without the information, it will be difficult to move forward. The signals you're getting are probably the wrong ones. That medical test you've just had, that diagnosis is likely not accurate. What seems obvious right now is only a mirage or obscured. When Venus or Libra, we've got both, are with the 12th house card, the emergence of an important love affair or relationship. With a Saturn card, you will soon be shown something you were mistaken over. The results will be shattering. With the Moon card, which we haven't got, um, the Mercury or Third House card we have got combined with this card, you either write beautifully or you have deep psychic gifts. The warning with this card is not to look to others to fulfil you or others to give you purpose or at least not at this current phase. It is either the incorrect time, or you are looking at the wrong crowd. While the 10th house gives us the truth, the 12th house gives us magic, so we can perform miracles. Each is important, and you cannot be all that is without the other. So take, take heed and search for clarity. Watch for deception at this time. Someone is lying to you. And we must... Uh, see that this is the four of cups so do not accept uh, being treated as less than uh, but accept what is and work with it there is the oak so persephone in the high priestess the tower reader the psychic is trying to see if we are worthy and right now unless we make the right decisions we are not worthy. So, number two. What can
can we say about Denver, the oak guardian, the guardian of the doorway, as is Persephone, as is the rune? Well done, spirit. He is such a patient guide to open the oak door for you. He judges whether you are acceptable to journey through that oak door will only appear when you are ready, and some of us still aren't ready. The door may be small, but most surprisingly, one makes it through with ease into the amazing fairyland waiting on the other side. So don't be afraid. Denver sees why you are here and he sees whether you are ready to walk through that threshold and seek the answers that you're not going to find in this reality. Sometimes, so this is about the other video that I did about the doorway. Go and look at it. I need answers from you. Are you ready to walk through that doorway? Sometimes it takes a different way of seeing things to understand a situation from a different viewpoint. You may come with an open heart, a loving heart and a willingness to step into the unknown with respect and honesty. There it is. Step into the unknown. The small door is symbolic of the way we perceive things, the narrow-mindedness. Do you see in black and white or do you allow the flow of other realities, the yellow, uh, the black uh, and white are... Uh, just shades, they're not colours. Or do you allow the flow of other realities into it? The other worlds do not have the limitations of our own, which makes it a great place to look for answers that we would not normally find in our own reality. Find an oak tree, a leaf or an acorn. The acorn's always around my neck, but we do have the acorn. Where they go? Where's the acorns go? There we go, there's your acorn. or even just an image of one, meditate on the oak tree and ask the tree spirits to grant you access. Mighty oaks are grown from tiny acorns. Ask it for healing and wisdom to guide you on how to enter. Call on Denver to show you the way and step through the threshold into the reality far beyond your own imagination. And you in America, let me know if there's anything goes off in Denver. I believe that's Colorado, isn't it? Uh, oh, so there we are. The tithing, the 20. Aquarius energy. The lady who has been heartbroken, but she's getting over it. The widows, the divorcees. But above all, your judgment. Keep your own counsel. Um, uh, somebody who's defending their heart, protecting their heart. Number 20. So your challenge, the Lady of the Gift, which has been rejected, which we said, didn't we? The Ace of Pentacles, we have rejected some sort of opportunity that we could have had. It says that the act of withholding isn't welcome in our world. In fact, withholding information, which is what Persephone is doing, I am trying to tell them what you're saying. I, haven't, I can't say certain things on the internet because it would get me taken off again. Um... Are you doing this? Perhaps someone is doing it to you. Yes, lies, deceit, theft. Um, withholding something in order to keep you manipulated and trapped and controlled so you believe deep down that you're not quite good enough. Now is the time for you to address the concept of withholding. If you see this in any aspect of your life, it is time for the change. There it is. Giving to others with the idea of getting something in return is also warned against. The best way out of this mire is to give with honesty and with an open heart or don't give at all and without any expectation of return. The Lady of the Gift challenges you to be generous and compassionate. You can always start again. And finally, acceptance. Accept what is and work with it. It's the green chakra of your heart. There's nothing you can do about certain things, but you can control how you react to it. And you can say no. So accept the gift that spirit is trying to give you. Even if it feels like it's uncomfortable. Everything is a lesson or a blessing. And it's never negative. Acceptance is a humbling experience. And a difficult emotion to nurture and develop. Acceptance means trusting that everything is exactly where it's supposed to be. And when life throws 
at you its best and worst. Acceptance is trusting that it's all part of a bigger plan and your journey. Recognising and finding the tolerance and understanding we need to get through this situation is truly the stuff of spiritual ascension. This is what we're here for, to grow as people as souls. You signed a contract to be here at this time in history. It is finding the courage to explore the positive and negative aspects of your situation. Sometimes we feel that all is lost and that the situation has gone far too far to bring it back to where you want or need it to be. But stop a moment, reassess the situation. Has it really gone or has it headed off just in a different track that we were not planning? You're so caught up in controlling the situation that you're missing the wonderful things that are happening right now. The people that are finding their tribe, that are actually seeing, finding out who the, the wrong ones are and who the right ones are. Uh, many good things have occurred or will occur indirectly due to the turmoil and confusion surrounding this event, which you perceive as losing control. But unless we suffer illness, we cannot enjoy the, the moments of good health. Unless we suffer sacrifice, we cannot be grateful for what we have. So, a lesson learned today. Be abundant, grow, nurture, any gift that comes your way. Uh, don't sign anything. Don't bind yourself by contracts of ours that you made under duress uh, believe in yourself feel the fear do it anyway and you will be free especially in your mind thanks for listening speak soon